Desperation. Whether we choose to acknowledge that or not, we are in a state of pure desperation right now. Yes, Councilman, I do choose to acknowledge that. We tried to pander to every person in this country, and the more we extended our approval to all the people, the more we stretched ourselves thin. We stretched our morals thin, our resources thin. We have nothing left. All of what we once stood for as America is gone. Some would say that, as president, you failed to deliver in times of war. I am not fully responsible for how events have unfolded. Had the previous presidents and leadership acted with responsibility, we would all be sleeping soundly at night. I did not twist the constitutional principles to fit the desires of everyone. Regardless of the circumstances, this was inevitable. War would strike again one way or another. Mr. President, if it is an immediate solution that you seek, I am not sure what can be done at this point. Our people have lost themselves to either selfish ambition or consequences of this war. Each and every person under our flag is looking for some form of hope. I observe that these days it's a person, a walking and living embodiment of what someone aligns with, what they want, and what they need. But who could suitably represent us? What person has the capabilities to do exactly what we need? Well, sir. We've made progress on finding candidates for the proposed stealth mission. Show me. During our latest research with the FBI, we found one individual who displayed extraordinary abilities. Who is this man? He served as a Navy SEAL for five years. Based off of this security footage, he got caught up in a fight with a fully armed gang, taking them down within just a few minutes. It's certainly impressive and unlike anyone else we've found. Bring me the full file on this man. I believe we may have found our solution. Is the status on Project Vanguard? We have nearly 60% of all the necessary supplies. I am certain that we will have everything we need by the end of the week to continue. Very well then. The plan is on schedule as predicted. We will have our grand authority within short time. Yes, of course, sir. But are you positive that this is the correct course of action? You are the most skilled in our entire army. We need more men like you. What we need now is more than men. Project Vanguard is our main priority now. Have you located item 13? Yes, a spy on the inside was willing to tell us where it is. Currently, it's being developed in a British research facility. Go retrieve it, and bring back anything else that may be of use to us. Understood. I will bring a squad with me.
officer, and he'd agree to meet here. He'll be here soon. Hi, is there something I can help you with? Hi there, I'm looking for the man who hired me. Would you be able to point me in the direction of him? You're the bounty hunter, I assume? Yep, that's me. You're my client, I'm assuming? Yes, my name is Logan Burr, and I've been sent by the US President to inform you about this assignment. Wait, the President? You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding at all. Now, come in here, and we can discuss some logistics. Alright, it says here that you are ex-military. Is that correct? Yeah, I was a Navy SEAL for five years. Good to know. And for what reason did you leave? There was an incident with a terrorist group, and after that I couldn't function properly in action, so I left. Okay. Well, since then you've been a bounty hunter, correct? That's correct. Do you enjoy bounty hunting? I'm just thankful that I can still use my skills, even if it's not what I was used to. Ideally, I would still be in the military. Understandable. Tell me about this job and why it's so important that the president himself wants to hire me. I've done bounty hunting missions for the government before, but none of them are this important. Well, Mr. Maverick, you've probably noticed that the average citizen is less than happy about the government's handling of current issues. Yeah, no, that's nothing new to me. Should you accept this job, you will become more than a stealth operative. You will ideally be an embodiment of hope and the potential to bring peace to our crumbling society. Why me specifically? Why was I the best choice? The president looked at a number of potential candidates for this assignment, and you were his top pick. Your skills are unlike anything we've seen. But logistically, wouldn't it make more sense to just barrage the syndicate with the strongest tools in your military? Due to our severe lack of funds and overextension of our troops, we don't have the proper capabilities to combat them. What about assistance from other countries? No one wants to help with this? Most nations are too scared to do anything about it, and the whole world has seen what the Phantoms are capable of. It's almost a guaranteed massacre if you attempt to oppose them, not to mention several countries are either allied with them or have already been invaded by them. And if I agree to this, who's my target? Your main objective is to apprehend the leader of the Phantom Syndicate. Alright, great. Just give me a name and I'll have this done within a few days. We don't have a name and we don't have a face or any information whatsoever. Whosoever is in charge, he's completely unknown. It's why they've stayed alive for so long. Nobody knows who exactly to target. Uh, the Syndicate doesn't currently have any occupation inside the United States, as far as I remember. So what country are you sending me to? We will provide you with transportation to Vatican City. From there, you will be on your own. Oh, that's not a short flight. The Syndicate has a knack for taking over areas with low population. It's important that we stop them before they start going for bigger targets. So, are you up for this challenge? Can you give me some time to think it over? We'll need an answer by midnight. Personally, I hope you do agree to it. You are my favorite of all the candidates that we've had, and you seem to be the most trustworthy. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Captain, an unknown airship just entered our proximity. Prepare for anything. Understood. Weapons ready. All troops, prepare for enemy forces. The breached entry gate A7. And 
bent towards the laboratory. They've made it inside. We need to evacuate. Nobody move. Stay right where you are. Hold your fire. Wait till the general gets here. Stay back, you rubbish! Prevent any of them from leaving this facility. Pack up all of the research and equipment. Please, you can't just take this. It took years to perfect. Your hard work will not be in vain. We will make great use of this creation. Put the weapon down. Shut up! You have no idea what this can do to you. Actually, I do. That is why I have come to take it. Put the weapon down. Join us, or meet a fate like his. Nobody here would even consider working for you. Is that so? Your friend here has chosen otherwise. What? Wilson, you invited these criminals here. Come on, you know that laser weapons will never be legalized. It's too much for the people of today to handle. At least with the Syndicate, I know my work won't be for nothing. Indeed. This plasma weaponry will be put to use as soon as a suitable design is finalized. You should come too. No, you're insane. Then your life has come to an end. You have done well and made the correct choice. Stop the gang's intentions. The man has been identified as Darren Maverick. Why the fight broke out is unknown, but most suspect that the masked individuals were attempting to rob the shop. Oh, hey Darren. What's up? Did you happen to take the footage from the gas station fight and upload it anywhere? As much as I wanted to? No. I didn't think you'd appreciate that very much. Alright, is there anyone besides you who has access to those cameras? No, I'm the only one who can access them. Why? Did something happen? You may want to double check how secure your gas station is because I just saw all of that footage on the news. Wait, worldwide or local? Um, I don't know. Does that matter? Um, maybe. This could be a huge marketing thing for you. Nope, like I said last week, I don't need marketing. I'm not trying to sell anything. I have to stay low profile, remember? If you say so. never formally introduced myself, you have seen the fruits of my actions across the globe. You may perceive our organization as a group of terrorists, but I promise you, as second in command of the Phantom Syndicate, that our objective is to restore peace and order to this dying world. 
For too long now, humans have reveled in the depths and depravity of vile behavior without any restraints. There exists a city in the Western Hemisphere known today as Monos. It is infamous for being the most crime-filled city in the world. So, as a representation of what we stand for, the wickedness of this city will be eradicated. Why should every other person have to suffer from the failure to uphold justice? Within just a few moments, that disgusting, evil place will be completely gone. These measures may seem extreme, but the only way to get rid of a disease is to kill it entirely. We have the ability to cleanse this world, and we're not going to pull any punches. We will do precisely what we need. When a wildfire burns down a forest, the light that springs up afterwards is healthier than what was before. When early humans began living solely in their sins, God sent a flood across this earth to wipe them out. In like fashion, we will cleanse this entire world of the current evil. We have obtained this great power and will use it to the full benefit of humankind. In order for our future generations to succeed, the unintelligent, stubborn attitudes must die. We are finally the only ones to take actions necessary to eliminate this wretched curse. And although this army will not live on forever, our legacy will continue through other methods. If you seek to avoid your destruction, then turn away from your evil. Hey there, is this Logan? Yeah, this is Darren. Um, I'll take the job. When do I start? <laughs>